Hello, this is Lisa from Inbrilliance, and in this video I am going to show you how to add a design to an in the hoop project such as this strap keeper design from Seven's Emporium. Before stitching any in the hoop embroidery design, I suggest that you read through the stitching instructions so that you understand how the design stitches and when colors are marked for placement or sewn for construction. I have opened the design into Embrilliance Essentials and can see the single design listed in the object pane. Expand the design in the object pane to see the color breaks that were outlined in the instructional PDF. The first color is the placement stitch for the vinyl material, the second color is the pocket reinforcement, the third is the sewing line to attach the backing material under the hoop, and the final color is the stitching for the slot which will go through both layers of material. Based on the instructions, I know in order for my design to stitch on the single layer of the pocket, it must be inserted to stitch before this attachment color. Now that I have my stitching order planned and in place, let's merge in the design that we want to add to this project. The merge stitch file is placed at the end of the design in the center of the hoop. We now have two designs listed in our object pane. Move the design to where you want to stitch on the project's pocket. At this point, we need to look at what's happening in our object pane to set our stitching order. We want the letter to stitch before color number three, so we must move it into this first design and drop it between colors two and three, which now creates three overlapping designs in our object pane. The third design is hiding stitches from the first. So in order for Essentials to not automatically remove these hidden stitches, we need to tell the software to skip over and ignore the colors that are hidden in the first design. This is done by assigning these colors as material stitches. When a color is set as either applique position or material, the software understands that these stitches have a job in the design and cannot be automatically removed. Once we have set our applique material for all colors that would be removed because they are hidden, we save our stitch file to send to the machine. When you open the stitch file at the machine, you will have one design with the color breaks intact. Walking through your In The Hoop project instructions beforehand allows you to properly plan for when you want to add designs to stitch to your customized project. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video and be sure to bookmark and follow us for more helpful tips and tricks.